Okay, I'm back. Sorry, just eating. Mm. All right. I've got some good news. The following games have been rated S for shit. I don't know what these games are. Someone compiled a, f a RAR of a bunch of games on um, these. I guess these are Unity games. I don't. I don't really even know. But first, let me take a. Oh hell no! All right, we're not doing that one. Um, hashtag selfie is the name of that game. I hope you enjoyed it. Next is a game called Amazing Truck. All right. Hundred a long time ago, a corgi named Waffles lost a package. He never revealed what was in it, but a week ago, okay. Oh my sweet Jesus. Is this the type of shit? Is this the, the type of... Dredge? Okay, we're not doing that one. Um, hey, we're gonna make it through these games super quickly. Uh, this game is called Artisan something or other, and then there's no windowed mode. And there's like a lolly. And it won't let me quit. So we're not going to do that one. This is going to be good. This is this is why I called it shit. You know, I like I like doing shitty games. Because there's always like, there's sometimes like, you know, you get like a diamond in the rough. This is just shit. I don't think we're going to find a diamond. Um, this is a game called Cat Simulator. And, uh, well... I've played this before on stream a while back. This one's actually pretty good, so never mind. We'll, we'll find at least one game. Um, okay. All right, I'm ready to go. Let's play. Great. Is this like a really early, early alpha? This is like a, an extremely early version of this game, and the paws aren't even showing. Is that shit? Yep, that's shit. That's cat shit. This game is what's coming out of this cat right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're rapid firing this shit. I've had enough of that. I don't know how much more of this I can handle, guys. I really don't think I can make it through a lot of these games. This game here. This game is called Dodgecraft. All right. See you later. It was fun. Next is Dungeon Nightmares. All right. Dungeon Nightmares can't be bad, right? I mean, and if it is bad, it'll be a funny bad. You know, it's it's the type of bad that you watch and you're like, "Hey, this is pretty funny because it's so bad." Right? That's what we're going to get. <clears throat> That's what we're going to get from Dungeon Nightmares. You 
you now belong to them. The other kin. The aquabats. The proud. The few. The bats. Is this a uh, shitty slender? That, that, yeah. These walls look slimy and shiny, and I, I don't understand why they would apply that effect to them, but that's fine. Just walk through that wall. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so scary. I'm so scared. This is, this is so good. We will find you. <laughs> this is the state. You know, part of me l likes the fact that I'm doing this because I can show you what types of games are out there. You know, let's. This is a journey. Together, we take this journey. We find out what people are making. I like how I opened the, the chest and there, there's nothing in here. I'm gonna go into the room where I hear, like, satanic noises and uh, the door shakes. I'm gonna go into that room because it's probably fine. Why are there octagons? Or, I'm sorry, hexagons. Why are there hexagons in the in the air? Yes. Is this something happening? Oh, no. Just a jump scare. See, I, would, I wouldn't call this shuffle... Is that... Copy that. Is that who that is? I wouldn't call this a shuffleware showcase because these games can be played by anyone at any time on the internet. For me, shuffleware showcase is... It's like, a, did I just pick up gold bullion? Because when I play my horror games, I need to pick up gold bullion. Um, shuffleware showcase is more shuffleware games that were just like released on a console or the, the DS or something. I need the artifact. Okay. This is more just... Just shit. Let's just call this sec... A skeleton. Is there any rational explanation for why there's a skeleton here? Hang on a second. I just want to know. Oh no! The skeleton moved! Uh oh. Go back to your spot, skeleton. Okay? I'm done with your shit. Bet you some money something's gonna happen before I reach the exit. Oh no. Oh no, I made it. Look at that. Great. I oh that was only night one. Five nights at shitties. I should have pressed B to blow the skeleton. 420? Come on, really? Are you even trying? <laughs> the dungeon grows stronger. I, I seriously jump scares. No. The way they did that jump scare with the face and the scream. No. Good new good news. 
there's a sequel, and I have it right here, guys. We can find out how much <laughs> changed from <laughs> from that game to its sequel. All right. So we're going to do that right now. Dungeon Nightmares 2. Okay. Now, again, the name of this segment is shit. It's not Shovelware Showcase. It's not bad game, you know, bajengas. Now, that of the games I've played so far, I'm going to be fair. I'm not going to be a complete dick. Of the games I've played so far, that was the best one. It, it worked. It had windowed mode. And it basically did exactly what it set out to do. Which was to, you know, throw some cheap jump scares at you. And uh, skeletons. I didn't expect much more. I got more or less what I expected. But um, the skeleton was an added bonus, actually. I didn't, I didn't think they would go so far as to throw a skeleton in there. Alright, so listen... We got this. This is the sequel, right? Immediately, I'm noticing some improvements. There's a, a higher level, higher degree of interactivity. All right, you can actually flush toilets, I think. Let's see if you can flush the toilet. Can you? You bet you can. You bet your bottom dollar you can flush the toilet. Okay. All right, don't have any keys or anything. Okay, graphically the game is a little bit better, and uh, I, I believe I'm in some kind of apartment, or, you know, like a hotel, like a roach motel or something, and room 301 is locked still, right? We, we got that. Okay, we're in a rusty, rusty service elevator. I stayed at this hotel in Wildwood, New Jersey. Yeah. It smelled like farts. <clears throat> what is that? Like a, a threat? You just wait until you get off that elevator. The game just gave me an idle threat. Okay, so hotel is connected to creepy catacombs. Creepy catacombs, actually the, the bricks look kind of nice. Is that bump mapping? Or was that, what's that called? I don't know. Looks good though. Looks pretty good. This was used for drinking blood. There's nothing here I want. What? Well, there could be stuff in the sacks. I'm not a big horror game person for whoever um, asked. You know, they don't scare me very much. Because, like, the scariest movies don't scare me. I mean, I'll jump a little bit here and there. I'm not trying to make myself out to be some fucking macho man. I definitely will jump. I am not immune to suspense. And, um, you know, the fear of the unknown is fun and everything. But I'm, I'm not really, um... I don't know. Horror games don't really do it for me. Amnesia didn't do anything for me. Slender didn't do anything for me. Five Nights at Freddy's barely did. And I'm just listing the most popular examples. I don't know what else is out there that people consider scary anymore. But... Yeah, just being honest, you know... The Exorcist, I think, is one of the scariest movies ever made. And when I was a kid, it scared the fuck out of me. Operating word when I was a kid. Well, operating word kid. <laughs> operating sentence when I was a kid. Um, but I feel like, you know, I watched that when I was a kid. And then other horror movies just didn't compare. Okay. Alright, well, that's the steam... I just don't really give these types of games much of a chance. That might be the problem. 
I don't get like immersed. I don't immerse myself in them. Um, I have to say though, I don't, I'm not sure why he included this in the games that he considered to be shitty, because this is you know competent. This is a game, and uh, I can see people who like this genre kind of enjoying this. You know. Okay, gotta get the artifact. And it is a definitive improvement. Even though that word does not apply there. Definitive? It's a definite improvement, that's fine. Don't want to sound smarter than I am. So, it's a definite improvement over the first game. Uh, and, I, you know, it's good. It's alright. Yep. Okay. There's a giant up there. A spike pit. Who left these here? I don't know what those are. Oh, it's a device for siphoning blood. I'm waiting for something scary to happen. But all I'm able to do is blow. Hmm. Getting a little bit bored, guys. Might move on to the next game if something doesn't happen in the next minute or so. That's Silent Night. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh... The map is nice. So it's a pretty good map. Shows you where you have not been. Alright, so I'll, I'll fuck around with the map for a minute. Check out some new locations. I get that these games are supposed to be dark. Do you guys think it's possible for a horror game to be completely lit? I saw that. Do you guys think it's possible for a horror game something, you know, like, not with jump scares specifically, but, you know, something kind of along these lines where you're not struggling to see something in the distance. I wonder. I wonder if you can make a fully lit. That's a challenge. If you guys, if there's any, like, fledgling developers and you're thinking about making a horror game, try to make a really scary one where it's completely lit. And it's not, you know, totally, totally black. I think people mistake darkness for, um, you know, that that's, you gotta have a dark game if you want it to be scary. I don't think that's the case. Someone said Alien Isolation, and another person said Hello Kitty Games, and LSD, I wouldn't consider that to be, like, a horror game. That's just fucking bizarre. It's like a drug trip. Okay, backwards noises. Um, I see a few ways I haven't gone yet. I certainly did not expect to get bogged down by a horror game tonight. I thought it was just going to be playing weird shovelware shit. But, well, we're here already, so... Okay, the heart's beating fast. If Cthulhu's around the corner, I wish to see him. Who 
who left these here. Okay, the treasure chests are a little bit lame. There's a bit of blood. This device was used to draw semen. You find out this is an old, abandoned, like, wank clinic. Is it the Inception things? Again? Another skeleton, guys! Hey, this is a nice looking skeleton. You guys see this shit? Look at that fucking skeleton. The detail is great. That is a nice looking skeleton. I will give this sequel my thumbs up for approval. Demon babies popping out of treasure chests. Nice looking skeletons. This is good. All right, let me let me just blow the skeleton real quick. Oh. Just an ordinary vase. It's another skeleton. Bony, guys. Why does it say bony? Why did it say bony? What, what is that? Is that a joke? That's not scary. That's, that's... Come on. Bony. I want the blood chalice. Give me the blood chalice. I should not touch it, though. You can... Every one of these, like, um... Flavor texts that you see... Every, every one of these pieces of, like, red dialogue that you see at the bottom... Could be interpreted as um, some kind of innuendo. That's kind of neat, actually. I have to say, this map is fantastic. I really like this map system. Look at that. It even shows you um, height, so you can see where the elevator is. That's that's a, that's an innovation. This, however, really isn't, because it's going to say bony again. It looks really old. Yeah, I bet it does. See, it's all innuendos. <laughs> Maybe I'm stretched. Nothing but scrap metal. Yeah, yeah, scrap metal. You, f Yeah, baby. Okay, I'm definitely going a little bit far with the innuendo thing, but... Most of it. There are blood stains on the ins- Oh. Do not enter room 313. Okay. If you say so. Had no intentions of doing so. The Crimbus skeleton shall visit you and give you wealth and prosperity. See, there he is. <sighs> so that was a voice that just said, look behind you. This. Okay. Oh, we've explored everything. And I am so frightened. We've explored, we've explored everything. I know there's a hooker in room 313 and I can't get there. Is that the sound of a baby? Okay, that is frightening. Children are terrifying to me. I think that was the scariest part so far. My startledge is is the levels of startledge is reaching mass amounts. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, the walk speed is, is really slow. And I don't know if, you know, yeah, I get it. I get it. You want to go slow. It's got to be dark. There's something. Oh, I saw that earlier. Uh. All right. All right. Let's go to room 313. I'm already here. I mean, let's, you know, I'm for better or worse. I'm already invested in this game. And now I have to find out what's going to happen. 
There are some nigglings I have with the game. But, uh... You know, overall, it's it's actually kind of... It, it's, it's good enough so that I want to see what's in room 313. I'm thinking, like, what if this is like The Shining, right? Like, you go in there, some old, you know, bitch... It's gonna, like, try to blow me or something. Gotta find out. You gotta find out, because that's the thing. It could just be a skeleton. Gotta find the exit. Or... Don't remind me. Um... I guess there's an exit somewhere around... I guess there. I guess you can't go that way, right? It's the way in. Okay, startledge level reaching 15%. I can't see. Spoops behind the door. Sunday night spoops. Uh, I don't know where the the shaft is, guys. See, that's that's an innuendo. I could go over to Boney, our Boney friend, and discover. There. <laughs> Why does it have to be so cheap? And it's always the gas. It's not here. Here's some bones getting rattled. This the right way? No. You wouldn't happen to know. Oh, there it is. I just want to see what's in room 313. That's my maximum investment. Hey, we're going down? I guess we won't go to the room then. Never mind. Oh wait, no, yeah, we, we're okay. We woke up in the hotel. Okay, three thirteen was it? Three oh six or three oh five? I think it's. Decreasing. Yep. I used to have a bear. That is lore. That is world building. I used to have a, a bear just like that when I was younger. Please go faster. 309. 308. 312. 311. God damn it. Stop. Stop doing this game. Just give me the fucking door.
There it is. Okay, now we can discover the secrets. It's a beach ball. Is that it? It's just a beach ball? <laughs> uh. Okay. Alright. Well. I've had enough. You have to get additional pylons and keys. Well, it's Dungeon Nightmares 2. I can't believe how much time I spent on that. Jesus. It's alright. <laughs> Moving on. Elder Sim. I like this one. This one looks good. Is that me on the left? Time to go to the toilet. Driving to the store. It's amazing that he included that full game and then this one. Like, what is the... What was this guy's... Look at that arm! Look at the arm! <laughs> I want onion. I want onion dinner. I want knife steak. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. That's Elder Sim. Okay, so that's Elder Sim. Next is... I don't know what this is. F-N-A-T-I-B. Oh no, is this a Five Nights at Freddy's clone? It is. Ah. Guys, it doesn't have windowed mode. Hey, buddy, it's Greg here. Hey, uh, so sorry again for making you do this. You are an intern after all. But Can we're still over here in Alabama getting our equipment ready before we head off to where you are. We are professionals, so we need to keep track of our stuff so we don't look stupid. Anyway, though, so if you're familiar with the lore of the place, then you've probably heard of the photo-negative Mickey costume that wanders around. What? Thing is, though, you look like someone who doesn't care. <laughs> you just want to let your time run out and get your credits. But if you do care, then listen up. <laughs> that thing? From what we've heard, it can only hear. He can't see anything. So that means if he wanders into your office, then shut off one of your cameras. I know it sounds strange, 
but if you make a loud sound, that will lure the suit out of your office. You may have a small window of opportunity to react, so be quick about it. Alright, I'll leave it up to you. Oh, and by the way, don't screw up any of our equipment. I can't believe this. You know what? I can believe it. Five Nights at Freddy's was so popular. You know what? I just reconnected with a friend of mine the other day whose child, whose, whose young child is really into Five Nights at Freddy's. This is, this has gone mainstream. So I'm not even surprised, really. It's, it's just what it is. But yeah, I can't is it, I can't believe it. How'd they get the rights to the characters? Oh wait, they didn't. I don't think I really, really care to play this. Because I mean, you know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. Gooby's gonna show up and, and then he's gonna raise hell. And then photo negative Mickey is gonna show up and he's gonna be all scary. Yeah. Also, this is in full screen mode. So, like, I can't even read the chat. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know if it's working. Oh, so far, fuck all has been happening. A, a whole lot of fuck all. I can't believe how much of a direct clone this is. This, this is... I mean, it might have that one unique thing that's going on, but it's such a rip. Everything is exactly Five Nights at Freddy's. Except there's no power meter, I guess? You can't close doors. Just have to look around. I'm bored. I'm already bored. Okay, go to go to the phone. Check Twitter. Twitter Twitter my thumbs. And uh check emails. Let's see what's going on with that stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, wow, that is so interesting. Let's see if anything here is different. Nope. I'm not interested. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to sit around here and wait for something to happen. Night two. Guys, night two and nothing happened on night one. Okay, oh God, let's hear this phone call. Hello? Oh, hey, Jake. It's me, Lisa. So, from what I heard, Greg left you a pre-recorded message yesterday. And I, for one, think what he said was pretty stupid. I'm sorry we still have to get our equipment ready. It hasn't been shipped in yet, so we're still waiting. We basically want you to collect data for us. When we come over there, it'll be easy to maintain everything. Oh, and also, Frank, as always, has left out some details from his last message. He said that the photo Don't negative suit happening. can't see, but it can. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. So I apparently I, I control out deleted and uh, and the screen turned white and that and then the game ended. The funny thing was just a second before I, I checked the cameras and the characters were all in place. So that's um, I don't know what I don't even know what the name of that is. It's just F N A T L I two two three. So uh, there you go. That, that's uh, that's a bad one. That this one's called uh, Muddy Heights. Okay, Muddy Heights. This what could this be? 
Not at all what I thought it could be. Poop drop. It's called poop drop, guys. That when I window it, it's called poop drop. Here. You need the proof. There you go. Is this what people are making? Are they putting this shit on their resumes? Move poop, select by jump. Okay. Are you serious? What's this brown stuff? Oh my sweet god. Oh my god. Is this a real- this is a real thing. I can't believe I'm playing this game right now. Look- look at the fucking- look at the cars. Look at the trucks just running over the lamps, the light posts. I don't even know what the corn and the gum do, but whatever. We'll- we'll figure it out. Oh, we got corn in the poop. got run over. Gives you the runs. The poops leaves bigger slatters. So I, was that words? <laughs> Amazing. Astounding. Makes your poop larger. Makes your poop lighter. Makes your poop greasy. Makes your poop move faster. I want to hit that bird. Oh, I wanted to hit the bird so bad. What's this brown stuff? I like how they can't, they can't like avoid the, the people pile or the poop. Yeah, fuck off, bird. Did you see the bird? Bird's on top of the truck. Yep. Yep. Look, 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 look. Look at the physics. Look at the truck. The truck is getting pushed. I can't believe this is real. I can't believe someone made this. I, I love living in 2015. I could knock the trucks on their side just by shitting on it. Vine Sauce is a mature and quality stream. I like how these vehicles cannot handle this shit. They literally cannot handle this shit. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine if it was that easy to cause riots and traffic. I think we've seen the whole game now. Um, I think that's that's it. I don't I don't really think we're gonna get any more entertainment value out of this shit. This is the shit. Aim for the dumpsters. Someone wants me to aim for the dumpsters. Yeah, I could do that. Where's the dumpster? You see a dumpster someplace? What? Whoa. Whoa.
Wow, I went really, went really high up. I don't, I don't see any dumpsters. Open dumpster alleyway. Top right? Okay. Oh, there you go. That's probably an achievement. Why am I still playing this? Someone must know the reason. Because I don't. Yep, it was an achievement. What do you know? The game wants you to hit everything at some point or another to get the achievements. Oh, I tried the fire hydrant for one. I, why am I still playing this? Okay. Window cleaner. Oh, I gotta get that one. Definitely gotta get that one. See? Oh, I didn't get the achievement. music was just perfect just perfect so that's muddy heights next is a game called overpowered that was a nice little song nice little jingle i like that jingle this looks this looks uh harmless right it's got to be pretty good This is I want to be the guy. A bit of true heroes. I've been expecting you here, sort of. Lots of heroes have come through here trying to conquer the challenge. Many did even if they... <clears throat> but enough of the... Ah, yes. Steve. A fine name. Actually, you came at a great time. A pow... It has for me, but I'm... Sh I mean... <laughs> All right. There used to be... It's just a... This doesn't seem... This doesn't seem like a bad game by any means. It seems like... Just one of those hard, I wanna be the guy type games where you just, you know, platform and... Get cheaped out. See? Yeah, it's alright, I guess. <laughs> yes, I am quick to judge. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm moving through them. Uh, PewDiePie's Paradise Island. <sighs> Why? What am I doing? Do I really want to do this? Like I said, I'm not actually looking to, you know, I'm not here to play good games. I was told these games were going to be bad. This doesn't seem bad either. This seems just... Oh, okay. Sh sh sharks with rockets on them. Let me, let me ask you guys a question. What does this have to do with PewDiePie? It's just a platformer. Is that a rocket worm? This is another game that cheaps you out. Oh, that's death? Okay. I just have to survive, so you just gotta stay on the screen and survive until... Alright. 
I get it. Uh, it's a, it, you know what? It's not, it's not terrible. Could be, could be worse. I, th I was expecting the worst, but that really was, I mean, it, it was, it was a game at least. <laughs> okay, hang on. We've got another one. This one's called Phobo, Phobophobia. All right, Phobophobia, a game about identifying people with phobias. Identify four party goers by their phobias. Indies versus PewDiePie. This guy gave me a lot of PewDiePie stuff. Why did he give me PewDiePie stuff? Do I have someone here with a meat phobia? Like, can I find out by like... Find the person afraid of their own body? Person afraid of computers. Afraid of computers. You want one of those. What does he say? Poofed. So you just drag objects near these people, and then they tell you if um, if they're scared by it. Also, there's no mouse lock. Uh, I don't think I really want to spend too much time on this one. Do a few more. Roll. This one's called Roll. I like doing a variety of games. This is something I, I actually genuinely enjoy. I like just speeding through games, checking out a bunch of them. So this this seemed like a lot of fun for me. And it's been okay so far, but I, the games aren't all that funny or bad. Some of them are actually okay. Like, this doesn't look that bad either. All right, so you're you're a ball, and as a ball, you have um, the ability to roll into things, and that's why it's called roll. But not terrible, nor funny. Like I said, I was, listen, I'm not trying to shit on games intentionally tonight. The idea was I was sent a collection of, of bad games by someone from the stream. So, that's what I expected. So don't mind me if I'm skipping over the games that are average. 
because I'm not I'm not looking for that. Uh, this one's called She No Oh He. This doesn't look terrible either. And I'm dead. So you go through the game and uh, you just attack people with your scythe. And you make walls. Moving on, a uh, shrink simulator. So now this one sounds interesting. Am I a therapist or does this simulate me being shrunk to a very minuscule size? Could be either or. I think it's going to have nothing to do with those and it's going to throw us a complete curveball. Okay, so far I'm not sure what's going on. We could be either a shrink we could be a therapist, or we could be a, a victim of a small, of a shrink ray. Maybe. Could, maybe, maybe I'm both a, <laughs> a therapist and small. Um, so, yeah, nothing's happening here. All right. All right. What's, uh, what's going on here? I'm stuck in a room. I can't really get out of here. And uh, I'm seeing there's some things going on here that I'm not really cool with. Can't interact with the environment. And uh, the mouse isn't locked inside the window. All right. <laughs> can't click anything. Not only can I not click anything, but I can barely turn around because of the fucking mouse not being locked. I can jump. E doesn't work. None of, none of the buttons work. Unless it's some, like, wacky button that makes no sense. Whoops. I, I don't know. The world may never know. Just gonna have to use our imagination. Ah, fuck it. I'll try one more time. Maybe the mouse will lock in this time. I'll let you guys know, because... Alright. Okay, the mouse is now locked in the window. And if I alt-tab out, it'll probably, you know, unlock, so... I'm just... You know, checking around the room... Just looking around the room. Nothing in here. Even with my mouse locked in. I don't know what this is. Next is SMB Game Builder. Oh. SMB Game Builder. Okay. So, Mario Maker. Except you can make your own custom levels, I guess. Moving on. Because I can't find the jump button. <laughs> this one's called uh, Snake Remake.
<laughs> this is the middies. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. Um, super ultra drunk fighting arcade simulator. Super ultra oh. drunk fight. Jesus fuck. This one sounds like a little bit of fun. Simulation. Edition. Quap edition. Beta. Unstable. Okay, so it's tongue in cheek. I should probably go to a doctor. Who is that? Is that PewDiePie? What is going? Who is the, in the, the the? Who is this voice? I the dude that sent me this loves pewds. Why does he do this to me? Oh damn! I can use the fishes as my weapons. Cubes. <laughs> yeah, great. Great. All right, I've had enough of that for the rest of my life. Thank you. Super Wolfenstein HD is the name of this one. Who, why, I'm going to email this guy back. I'm going to ask him, like, what was going on in his head. Because there were a few gems. A few things I, I really enjoyed. Get psyched, okay. Hey, this is kind of awesome. <laughs> I like this. Oh my god. I love this. How do I get that? I want that. gun this is one of the coolest things I've seen yet I wonder if you can find secrets by breaking through the walls Pistol. <laughs> These guys can barely stand. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> nice face. I love this. This is so cool. The dogs are so derpy. The physics. Get those eyes. Lieben.
the stanky leg. The leg don't stop. The leg don't stop. Get psyched. I got a shovel. Okay, this game kind of got a more amazing with the shovel. a lot. This is good. I mean, if it's going to be something like this, I am more than happy to not get a bad game. Okay, so there is a limit to how far you can go. can fit on the screen. His leg is twitching. Still alive? No, he's dead. I'm psyched. I'm I'm just play this and be contented. Like, I, I don't need... Whoa, what's he got? The arms. What the hell is wrong with this guy? So fucking... Oh my god! I'm dead. You gotta start over. Oh wait, no, no, you don't. I'll try this level one more time, then I'll move on.
You can beat the shit out of them with a shovel to get your knives back. That's that's what's up. Yeah, I hear this is short though. People are saying it's really short. It's fine. It's still really, really, really cool. And fairly challenging too. This guy's still fucking alive? Yeah, he's still going. Still going. I have nothing to combat this guy with. Oh, some knives. I mean, I had a shovel. The shovel's not very powerful, though. I think he's dead, guys. I'm not entirely sure. What do you think? Oh, that's it. I just needed to defeat that one guy. That was really good. That was actually one of the best games, I guess, I've played that only lasted, what, 20 minutes? Uh, YouTube Simulator 2014. I may as well finish the RAR. It's almost done. We can really, really get through some of these quickly. But this is, yeah, YouTube Simulator 2014. Here we go. I'm ready to see if it matches my experiences on YouTube. You made a video, now it's just five hours of editing in front of you. Let's skip that for the sake of gameplay. You gain subs. S-U-B-Z. Check email. Noob, you suck, Fedgy. Fight me IRL 1v1. I have guns and sex every day with your mum. I'm 18. I'll ban you, Hacksaw. Report you. ELD. I have friends at Sapo. <laughs> she just tries, scub. Pewds new network. Oh no. It's another Pewds game. Alright. Uh, make video. Let's just copy other YouTuber. You gain subs and infamy. Choose, th choose thumbnail. Let's do butt. Yeah. Let's do... Yeah. Upload three. You, you still gain... You chose poorly. Always choose the butt. Always. Make video. Copy. Make video funny. Great game. 
You suck, fudgy. All right, let's get to how many subscribers I have. All right. A subscription. I see who's I I see who this person subscribed to. It's not me. I've made a disconnect mentally. I have a disconnect. I don't understand why this guy sent me so much fucking PewDiePie shit. It's ubiquitous. You know, PewDiePie subscribed to me. I don't know if you guys know this, but you know how he made corruptions and he used the Vine Sauce ROM Corruptor? He actually is subscribed. There you go. That's that's about how many sub subscriptions I have at the moment. There you go. It's from a oh, it's from a game jam based on PewDiePie. Oh. Thing is, I don't, I don't really mind the guy because he's not a, he's not a bad dude. He donates a lot of money to charity. He's self-aware. He knows what he, what he does. He just, you know, he's just his streams and his his videos are hard to watch for me and most people. I don't like the way he plays games. I don't like the way he makes his things. It's not really, a, it's a personal choice. I don't watch a lot of YouTubers. You know, don't really like his style, but. He gets a lot of money and he donates a lot of it. There's a difference between the man and the character, I feel. And that's that's a hard thing to separate when you uh when you watch people stream and make YouTube videos. So that's all I got. I that's that's what I, oh, is he a bad dude? Are there things I don't know? Are you telling me there are things I don't know? I mean, I guess you could still be a douche and donate to charity, but whatever. I don't know. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. His fans are intolerable for the most part, as most of us would agree with. But, um, you know, that's okay. I mean, that's just different people have different fans, and some of them are tough to deal with. I've said this before many times on stream. And uh, I personally have had some really, really, I mean, look at the Twitch chat. <laughs> Lately, it's been pretty bad, so not really a fan of some of that. Um, but most of the community, most of the Vine Sauce stuff is pretty good, and I'm pretty lucky. But you know, again, I can't really hate a guy for you know donating so much money to charity and you know just being a person. I think um, it it is a very important thing to try to separate between the two things, if you can. So, you know, whatever. Listen, if the rest of these games are from this game jam, I don't think I'm going to want to do this. Uh, there's one more. I'll try, okay? It's just, just for the sake of completion, there's a few more games. This one seems like it's completely neutral. It's called Zombie Defense. Oh, wait, no. It's called Zombie Trouble. So we're going to do Zombie Trouble, and I'm going to find out if this has anything at all to do with PewDiePie. And I guess we'll take it from there, and then maybe I'll do a little Grim Rock to end the night. And uh, that'll be it. Okay, oh, there's going to be a, a bit of art to it, I, I'd imagine. But, all right, the game looks decent. Um... It's a zombie game in medieval times, I guess. Okay. Oh. All right. What, what am I supposed to do here?
What is going on? I can't actually kill the zombies. I don't know how to do anything. There's a tutorial, yes. There's a tutorial. I skipped it. Oh, this button maybe? Stand strong. Oh, it just makes dudes. These are like, it's like Flash games we played ten years ago, five years ago. It's the same shit. Yeah, I'm gonna... I don't know. This the dude who emailed me this ROM... Uh, ROM. This RAR file with all these games in it. I mean... I don't know. I'm not really... Uh, I, I don't think these games are interesting. A few of them were okay. There was a few great moments. There was the Wolfenstein one. There was the Poop one. And I guess the horror one was okay. But uh, generally, this was not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting, like, reg levels of shovelware, but instead we got boring, PewDiePie, and incomplete. So, alright. There's that. Um, I'll just tell you the name. If you're curious... And you want to find out what the stuff is on your own, which is something I'd prefer if you did, because uh, I'm not doing any more of this stuff. I will tell you the rest of the games. Um, there's Tetrix. Uh, just curious. Let's see what it is. This game is not recommended for people with epilepsy. All right, it's shitty Tetris. There's the YouTube Poop World is the name of uh, of a game here. It's called the YouTube Poop World. It's an RPG maker game. Here, take a look at this. Okay. That's all we need to know. All right. So that's the YouTube poop world. Twerk simulator HD. Okay. I guess I'm not done yet, am I? Twerk simulator HD. How the fuck do I even load this game? Oh, here it is. I, 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 uh. I'm, I'm guilty. All right. I'm to blame here. I apologize. This is bad. This is bad streaming. I know what I'm doing, and I feel bad about it, and I'm sorry. Oh, my God. This is this is bizarre. It's just a disembodied floating ass. There's no music, there's no sound. It's just a floating ass made of jello. Just just twerking. I I don't I don't know why people would like why would you make this? All right, so people like me can play them. All right, so that's Twerk Simulator. Don't forget to rate. No, I'm good. I don't want to rate your game. I'm cool. There you go. Um, <laughs> the physics. <laughs> oh, oh, fine. Let's just do the lab. There's only like two more. It's called When Pigs Fly. Here's one. All right, When Pigs Fly. It's a Unity game. All right. I'm gonna be a trooper. I didn't think I was gonna make it through all of them today.
Okay, this is kind of cool. I can construct a flying pig. Alright. Didn't quite succeed. But, um, you know. So I'm I am uh, I have a degree in aerodynamics. All right, you need an elevator. All right, first we'll start with the elevators. Get rid of that. We don't you don't need that. That's that's vanity stuff. We're gonna get an I Ilarian. All right, and we're gonna put. Oh wait. Oh oh shit. Whoops. All right, you can do that. This is how you build a flying pig, my friends. If you know, if you know the subject like I know it, you would know that this is the best way to do it. Oh, that's starting to look like a swastika. Um, we can't have that. Uh, let's let's put some leaf blowers to, to disguise that fact. We don't we don't yeah. There you go. Yeah, we don't we don't want that. We want a leaf blower. That's what we want. I'm just trying to make a pig fly. Okay. See, here you go. There you go. There you go. We did it. We did it. There's no going back now. Well, at least the pig has still got its wheels. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's That one's another winner of the collection. I don't think you can really get too much better than that. It's just, when you know, make a pig fly. It's, it's Kerbal with pigs. Uh... You know, whatever. It's it's different. That's what I'm trying to say. It's different. It's it's good. But I don't have the patience for it. So I'll just let you guys use your imagination and you know. This one's called Where is My Hammer? Where are we going? We're gonna find a way in. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. <sighs> there it is. I was wondering where my hammer was. Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my hammer? a nice little tech demo. It's, you know, it's clever. Oh, we're getting some frame lag. That means that it's working overtime. 
You. You are John Hammer. You have the ability to destroy anything in this world with your hammer, which is also named John Hammer. This was the uh, aborted codenamed Hammer for the Wii that never came out. This seems like, I mean, you know, we've already confirmed this is all like Game Jam stuff. But I mean, yeah, it really is all Game Jam stuff, isn't it? Like this, not even, that's a fact. I think some of it's a little bit more developed than others, but yeah, these just strike me as uh, tech demos. It's cool. I like this. I would, I would play a game based on, on hammer physics, I think. You know, if there was an objective. Uh-oh. Zero out of ten. Computer doesn't... doesn't break. I, oh, man, I can't even jump off the level. All right. Well, there's that. <laughs> that was a game. That was, um, where is my hammer? zappa to do And you don't know the half of it. Fins of the Father. This is the last one. This is it. This is the final game in the package. And, uh, I am so happy to say that. You have no idea. Let's just call this the shit show. What do you guys think? Instead of shovelware showcase, we'll call this the shit show. Because that's what it's been, more or less. I don't want the VOD to get muted. I'm sorry, I don't want the VOD to get muted. Salmatha. I just, yeah, I don't need the music because then, then no one can watch the stream and I have to upload it to, um, what's his name? Vappy. Right, let's just, yeah, let's just mute that real quick. <laughs> the fish, the fish heads on the horse. <sighs> It's a shame that the the game is like shitty RC Pro Am because that was a hell of an intro. That was an amazing intro. This reminds me of the Star Trek Next Generation um, fish people. There's an episode in an early season where Mick Fleetwood played a fish person. It, it was it was basically just someone draped in shower curtains with a fish head, and it was it was amazing. Would you say the camera is a fish-eyed lens?
Oh my sweet Jesus. It's happening again. If only this song wasn't, you know, gonna fucking get the VOD muted, I would play it and it would be amazing. But sorry. Oh god, is that an anglerfish? They should just let, just let me use my, my mouse cursor to aim the gun. This is ridiculous. This reminds me a little bit of um, Gentleman Broncos. You guys remember that movie? <laughs> with the fucking crazy like dream sequences with uh, Sam Rockwell. Here it comes. It's like this whole stream has been, like, devoid of stuff that could mute the VOD. I don't want a dumb fish game ruining it for us. Okay. Is the journey done? Happy... Okay. Bound to music video by Kanye West. All right. Uh-oh, Kanye's face. That's copyright. That's copywritten. Okay. Well, there you go. That's That's... That's the shit show. That's the shit show. And it's over now. Take a deep breath with me, everyone. Come on, let's do this together. We need to give each other some, some support, okay? We made it this far. We survived. And I want to thank you for sticking through it. Uh, there's a lot of people here right now. And it's it's late. And there's a lot of people here. I have to say, you guys are the real MVPs. You know that, right? <sighs> we made it. The shit show has ended. Fins of the father. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and... We're just going to go ahead and... Take a quick break, and I will be back with Legend of Grimrock 2, a game that I can't wait to play. Play it for about 45 minutes, and then I will get my X-Files on and go to bed. But we're going to do some Grimrock first, so I'll stick, uh, stick around for just a bit. I'll be right back, okay? <sighs> we made it. You all deserve a fucking medal for that. See you in five minutes.